Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to just be a little midweek check-in for you. I'll be using my Angel Tarot deck. We're not going to do any clarification. Okay, it's just a little check-in. And I hope I said this was for Taurus, because it's for Taurus. Bam, sometimes my brain works so fast, like it can't, my mouth can't keep up. So Taurus, this is for you. You got the eight of fire. Events are moving at a fast pace for you. Your, your delays are over. Many things are happening at one time. You got the two of earth too. Many things are going on at one time. You got to make a decision too. But you might need to consider a more playful approach, okay? Instead of, you know, going in like that. Be a little playful, okay? You got the two of earth. You know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> the page of fire. News of an exciting new endeavor. Oh my goodness. You need to be original, okay? Be yourself. You're going to have some magic. You got the fire. You got the page of fire. <laughs> The five of earth, you had some fears surrounding money not too long ago, but that was temporary. That's gone. The five of water, things not turning out the way you expect them to. And that's because you're crying over spilt milk, okay? It's gone. It's past. It's over. It's done. Oh, we guys right here. You got the five of water. Stop crying over spilt milk. Accept, okay? You need to see the positive in the situation. You're going to see. If I, you, if it has not already happened, you're going to see. All right? We got the Unity card. Oy. You got traditional viewpoints, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, the Unity card is the equivalent to the Hierophant. So this could be talking about some kind of contract. Could be something binding, okay? Um... It could be a job or it could be love. We'll keep going. I have a feeling it's about money. That's just a feeling I have. So, but you got to seek out like-minded friends, okay? And mentors. People who are on the same page with you. All right? Who pe people who want to rise. People who see the truth. You got the nine of fire here. Don't give up. Hmm. Protect what you have created. Have courage and believe in yourself. And believe in yourself with love. You hear me? Do things with love. Man, you'd be amazed. You'd be amazed at the things that could happen. The changes that could come in your life. But it first starts with loving self. You got the nine of fire here. You're very resilient. You hear me? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Every time you stumble, you get back up. And you keep going. You got the ego card here. That's the equivalent to the devil card. Mm. All right. So usually this is about like addictions. This could be anger, jealousy. Um, it could be <clears throat> you're too much in your head. Or maybe you're too focused on material things. And it could also be negative or fear-based thoughts. And it could be because you keep, you know, it seems as if you keep falling down, but you keep getting back up. 
So you could be fearful to keep on moving. I'm not sure. But don't you give up, you hear me? Let's see. I guarantee you're going to overcome this. All right? Let's, let's see. I guarantee it. Oi! Whoa! I told you. The six of earth. Give some money for time and effort, okay? So you keep going. You push right past through those that fear and that negativity, okay? All them negative thoughts, you push past it. You can do it. Trust and believe you can. You can do it. Do it with love. Bring love into the situation, okay? Focus on things for the collective, you know? Like... Giving, sending love and joy and happiness. Something simple like that. Without people knowing. It's so powerful. But you do it with your heart. You know? Do it in your quiet time. But you got the six of earth. So darling, things are going to start getting balanced. Okay? You're going to be receiving money. There's going to be some kind of career opportunity or something. You might be receiving a loan to pay off some debt. And then here's the world card. A job well done. You're going to have joy and contentment. So whatever this negativity or negative feeling was, now it could be now. Now, the devil card and the ego is also about addictions. Now, addictions could be all sorts. All right? It could be gambling. It could be physical intimacy, over too much, can't do without, you know, like, you gotta go, you gotta go, it's like, and overeating, and many other things, you know what I'm saying, smoking, and so many things, but you're gonna overcome it, you're gonna be receiving some money, okay? You're going to have a job well done. You got the world card. You got the sun. You got the ace of fire. And you got the ten of air. <clears throat> so the sun is about happiness and positivity in your environment. No matter what. Okay? You keep your head up. And when you feel like this. Lack. You keep your head up. Know that that will pass. Think back on how many times you've overcome things. Because remember, you are resilient. So I got the sun, happiness and positivity. I have the ace of fire, which talks about an, <laughs> a new exciting opportunity for you. Maybe a career advancement. And then the ten of air is the end of a difficult situation. So embrace the change, okay? You got the sun, the ace of fire, and the ten of air. And one more. And you got the page of earth. What did I say? It's temporary. The mindset of lack. Whatever is going on here with this ego thing here, you're going to overcome it. Crying over the spilt milk, you will overcome it. Right? It's past. Why, why cry over it? Because you've got the page of earth. Good news about financial matters and wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. And the seven of water. You're going to have many options. Okay. So keep your head up. Things will get better. The darkness always brings the light and what goes up must come down. We just need to learn to balance. Okay? I love you. Bye. <laughs>